What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Thor from Avengers Endgame. There's a quick look at the box art there. Looking good, looking good. Let's uh, see what he looks like out of the package. Alright guys, here he is out of his plastic prison. And first thoughts out of the package are... Wow. <laughs> Absolutely wow. The moment we saw him in the theater, well, the moment I saw him in the theater dressed like this at the end battle, I said, man, I can't wait to get that figure. And here we are. One really, really, really weird thing about it, though. I don't know if you guys can see that. He has a hair stuck in his calf, or his uh, thigh, sorry. Uh, that is not my hair, and that is right in there, so, Hasbro, uh, what's up with that? <laughs> that's really weird. Uh, I can't tell if it's hair or if it's just a piece of paint that's a string. Either way, I can't pick it off, so I'm gonna have to cut that off. Uh, anyways, let's, let's, uh, let's look at his face here, and, uh, yeah, that looks awesome. Would have been nice to have two alternate heads to, uh, have... Like, not the glowing eye look, but the glowing eye look looks awesome, so I think it looks good. Uh, let's take a closer look at what he comes with, and then we'll take even more look at Thor here. First off, he comes off, he comes with these two open hands. Like, I guess, like, thunder hands, I guess you'd call them, maybe. Uh, open hands, he comes with two of them, not bad. It also comes with Mjolnir, and it's all electrified, which is really cool. I haven't seen one like this yet, so that's cool to have one like this. It's really cool. It also comes with Stormbreaker, which also has that blue effect. I think it looks really cool, actually. Um, yeah, I think it looks better than the other Stormbreaker. And then he also comes with two electrical... Uh, lightning pieces, I guess. You can wrap them around the, the weapons here and uh, give them that lightning effect. Uh, I think we've seen these lightning effects before, but uh, yeah, they're, they're all right. They're not bad. They do the trick. But uh, yeah, those are uh, his accessories. Let's go back to taking a look at the figure. Quick thought on the accessories, guys. I thought I'd compare the Stormbreakers. The new Stormbreaker is very thin compared to the one that came with the uh, Infinity War Thor. And if, this one's actually bent, unfortunately, the one that came with my uh, Infinity War Thor. That's just from him holding it on his shoulder on the shelf. But, yeah, honestly, uh, I don't know which one I like better. I think this one looks better. But, I mean, it fits in, the, in this Thor's hands pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I would maybe have liked it a little bit thicker here at the bottom. But other than that, yeah, I mean, maybe the blade too. This blade's a lot bigger. It looks more intimidating. Yeah, so maybe I would just swap the handles. But maybe put the blue, maybe added the blue effect to this one. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick uh, comparison on the Stormbreakers there. So here he is again. Um, I'm going to try to yank this little hair piece off. It's not coming. I'm going to have to use the scissors here. What a weird thing to come onto a figure. Like, I've never seen that before. Ever. I just cut it. And it's probably still a little bit there, but whatever. At least it's not noticeable now. Uh, articulation. Let's go over some articulation for this beefy boy here. Uh, I guess maybe we should start off by talking about his armor first before we get into the articulation. But it looks pretty... Uh, I don't remember if it was black, this black in the movie or not. I guess it could have been. Uh, but the, the scales on his arm, like the metal scales, I thought they were silver, but I guess maybe they are black in the movie. But still, looks pretty cool. Uh, he, so he does have two uh, gripping hands to hold his weapons. You can put Stormbreaker in one hand. And then Mjolnir in the other. I actually don't know what hand he holds each of these in. I don't know. Could be having them in the wrong hands here. But yeah, I think that looks awesome. Let's see what he looks like like that. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Uh, the cape is pretty rubbery actually. It feels le like more rubbery and bendable than other capes. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the same material, but I don't know. It just feels better. Uh, the only thing I'm noticing off the bat with this figure is he is kind of short. Uh, yeah, that's the, really the only thing I'm noticing off first glance. Uh, but we'll get into comparisons very shortly. Let's uh, overlook his articulation. So articulation-wise, we'll start with the head here. His head, his head is a little um, hindered by his hair, but he can look left and right pretty good. Um, down, up. You can't really look up that much, but you can move his. Uh, is uh, what's it called joint there to look up it's abdomen joint I guess uh, yeah his arms can't really go all the way back because his cape but he can move him out pretty far to the side here he's got those double jointed elbows that we love so we can flex on them girls from Asgard <laughs> and uh, what else has he got here he's got a really good the the middle joint here is really good Lots of posability there. I thought that was cool. I was wondering how they were going to do this part of the figure from him being uh, overweight in the movie. But I think they did a pretty good job. The back, there's not much paint going on. Just on the belt there. Uh, there's, the design on the pants is, is not bad, I guess. At least they kept that throughout the back of the figure. The side of the pants, not bad. Let's check out those knees, double jointed knees. Gotta love those. Uh, we'll put him in the Glenn Webb pose. See how flat we can get his uh, his ankles here. And boom, look at that. That's pretty far, I guess. You're not going to really need him to do that, probably. But, yeah. Not bad. Uh, yeah. There's the articulation. Let's uh, take our final, final look here at the figure. Actually, we're going to compare them to some other Thor figures. That's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, so yeah, there he is next to some other Thor figures, and yeah, he is a bit shorter than the other Thors. I uh, don't know why they would uh, make him short. Maybe he did get shorter when he got fatter, I don't know. Uh, that might actually happen. I, uh, I don't know, someone can let me know in the comments. Do you get shorter when you get fatter? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he's still, I still think he's pretty big. I mean, we're going to compare him next to Iron Man and Cap in a minute, but just taking a look at him beside the, the other Thor figures here, he definitely is shorter, but uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, there's a uh, fat, sad, really fat, sad Thor next to, you know, maybe I should wake up and change the way I am Thor. I think they look pretty good together. Uh, yeah. Not bad, not bad. Alright, let's compare him to, uh, Cap and Iron Man. Alright guys, so here he is next to Iron Man and Captain America from Endgame. Now, if you guys notice, this is not the two-pack Iron Man. This is the Iron Man that came with the Endgame wave back when the movie came out. I actually just picked up that two-pack with Thanos yesterday, and I'll probably be reviewing that on the channel as well. Uh, stay tuned for that, probably in the next couple, couple days. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh yeah. Iron Man and Cap here next to Thor. I think it looks I think it looks great. Uh Cap still is a little short, but that's okay because when they're all together like this, I think you can't really notice it that much. But and having Thor a little bit shorter makes it a little bit not as bad, I guess. But uh yeah, the Iron Man looks really good with it. Now I did hear the new two pack with Iron Man and Thanos cannot um, or I heard it can go on this head, but it just looks really big. So, uh, we're going to see that when the, when we do the review, stay tuned for that. But, uh, yeah, these three, the big three, as they call them, uh, they look great together and I can't wait to pose them on the shelf with that Thanos and Iron Man, but, uh, yeah. All right, guys. So there is the Avengers Endgame Thor. Marvel Legends action figure. 
Let me know what you guys thought about the figure. Did you guys pick this figure up? Where did you get it? Do you guys think it's worth the extra, I think it's $10. I think it's an extra $10 on Marvel Legends price. Personally, I think it's worth it just because, I don't know about you guys, but when he showed up on screen like this, when he grabbed both hammers and his beard turned into like a braided beard and his eyes glowed, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And like, yeah, I've been waiting ever since the movie came out to get this figure. So I'm happy to have this. I hope you guys are happy to have this. Hope you guys like the video. Leave a like. Um, subscribe because we're on our way to 500 subscribers. If you guys didn't see the last video, we're doing a giveaway when we hit 500. So make sure to hit that subscribe and smash that like. We got more videos coming. Lots of toys to unbox. We're going to have our first unboxing live event tomorrow night. Probably around 6 Eastern time. We're going to unbox some Marvel Legends. We're going to unbox a McFarlane DC multiverse figure. We're going to unbox some AEW wrestling figures for you wrestling guys. And uh, yeah, don't forget to come back to the channel tomorrow and check that out. So thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.